Justice Good here, and today I'm going to show you how to blend a texture into your photos. Now there's a few things you want to make sure you have to make this work best. You can see that there's some blurring on this image, there's some depth of field already in it, and the blurred areas are going to allow the texture to show through more. Now you can find a texture at any stock image website just by searching texture. And what makes a good one is that you see it has a natural vignette darker on the edges and lighter in the middle, which is going to create a sort of vignette when we blend it. Uh, I'll link you to the website where I got this texture. It's, it's called Texture King, I think. I'll link it to you in the description bar. Now what you want to do is drag your texture onto your image. And if it's bigger like so, I want to, I want the whole thing, so I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale, or you can do Command-T on a Mac. And I'm going to grab the corner while holding Shift so that it, it keeps the proportion, and I'm going to scale it down to the size of my image. And make sure that you cover the whole image with this. As you can see, I left a little bit at the bottom. So after you have it scaled to cover your whole image on top, Here's where you can play with the blending modes. Now, the most common blending mode you can set it on is overlay. So, if you click the blending mode, overlay, you can see it, it creates a really nice effect. Do you just see that texture and that natural vignette it gives it? And you see what I was talking about with the Gaussian blur there? Um, it lets the texture shine through more. If you want a less dramatic effect, you can use soft light. Um, a few other effects that work well are multiply, and you can always turn the opacity down. One effect that works well is screen. Now these effects are a bit harsher than overlay, so again you can turn the opacity down on them. and it creates some nice dust and scratches in your photo. So let's say we're going to use overlay. Or I mean, you could even use normal actually. Just blend it just with the opacity. That's not even that's on normal blending mode just 50/50. So let's say we use overlay and we're going to turn the opacity all the way up. Uh, an effect that works well with this in combination is adding an adjustment layer of color balance. And under midtones, I'm going to turn the blue a little bit up. Got to make sure you click this slider. As you can see, the effect works well in combination with the texture. And under highlights, I'll turn the yellows a little bit down and a little bit of red. Shadows, I'm just going to leave the shadows alone actually. A little bit of, a little bit of red. So as you can see, these effects work well in combination to give your photo a texture and color that is nicer than the original. Now, I said you can try it with different blending modes, so let me show you the difference between the overlay blending mode and let's say if you want to use a screen. So hide that color. Let's say I put it on screen, turn the opacity a bit down so it's not as harsh, and the same color, a little bit more color there. There you go, that's a unique effect in, its, in itself. So, yeah, try this on any photo of your own. If you like this tutorial, check out my channel for more and subscribe. And don't forget to check out these previous tutorials.